Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Wanderer. So in this video we're going to be going over a full review for Wanderer. Now I have completed this game and it is absolutely freaking outstanding. So I'm going to tell you that straight off the get-go. Now I absolutely loved every single second of this game and I'm here today to tell you why I think you should definitely experience this game. Now there's a lot of games I've played in VR and not all of them hold up to a triple A standard in my opinion. Uh, we've had things like Half-Life Alex, which are absolutely outstanding things and outstanding games and just the way that they are made are just incredible. Then you have things like Wanderer and I feel like this just hits up on a similar par, you know? It really feels like a triple A game, it really looks absolutely stunning. The gameplay itself is absolutely phenomenal and the story is really just the icing on the cake, you know? It just all adds up to an absolutely fantastic experience. Now to break this game down for you a little bit, it is a puzzler game at its truest core. A puzzler escape room is what I'd probably put it in myself. Uh, personally I quite like those types of games puzzling and escaping very good now to start off with the game let's walk through a bit of the game itself you start off in like a wasteland in a futuristic time where everything's broken and destroyed because apparently that is the only future us as humans hold <laughs> <laughs> Probably true. But nonetheless, you start off there and you go off on an adventure to find your grandfather's apartment. Once you get to there, you find a time traveling watch. Once you put that watch on, my little dude starts talking to you and he is a, it's just a fun little character. I really love the character. I love the whimsicalness of everything that he brings to the game and it really adds a lot of value having that as the narrator of the game, opposed to maybe having your own voice or something else kicking it off. Uh, it just really helps. Also, your little watch buddy, he also can help you out. If you push the little button on him, then he'll pop out, give you a little hint, maybe a heads up on where you should be going or what time period you need to be heading to, to do the next thing. And uh, I found that as a really cool mechanic to try and get hints when you needed to, because there are moments where you get really stuck in this game. Um, so I found that pretty awesome and then from that moment forward you go through a bunch of stuff in the apartment and then you start really getting into the time traveling element of this. Getting through that is just amazing, like you get into some parts where it's just like you go in, see what's got to offer, then time travel, whoop, find another artifact, go to the next place. And it really ties together in such a unique and fun way that I just found personally to be something just so much more than what you'd normally get in a type of game like this. Um, the cool thing is as well is there are multiple things to do in each time zone. So you may have thought you've done everything in that time zone and then it will link back to that later in the game and you then got to go back there and do something different which will alter things and change things a little bit. And I just think that that's such a fun, interesting mechanic. Now I'm not going to ruin the end of the game or I'm really going to try hard not to do too many spoilers in this. So uh, if we want to do something like that let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to give you a full lowdown of the full game. Um, but I don't really want to do that in this video because I want it to be more about new people coming in and experience it for the first time uh, without me having to destroy everything about the game and tell you everything about it. But so those things led to me to have a really strong feeling towards this game of like, just like, wow, man, this is jaw dropping, stunning visually absolutely fantastic mechanics run throughout the whole game great physics of everything and interactive everything felt interactive i could pick up anything do anything you know and <laughs> so many games miss that in a game it's actually pretty outstanding how many games genuinely do miss that in a game now one of the things that i was most impressed with with this game was the fact that they didn't put load times into it which i know sounds like on the surface like something not that exciting but honestly it genuinely is exciting because we're, we're talking here about Literally picking up an artifact, holding it to your wrist, sucks in there, goes white, whoop, 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 you're in your next place. There's no like, do, 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 you know, 10 minutes of sitting around loading in. And I felt like that was a really cool feature to this game that really adds to the immersion level because I hate my, I, I just can't stand it when games break your immersion. Um, so I really love that about this game. And then on top of that, it just adds to like the flow of the game, keeping it going, you know, whipping out the artifacts, traveling to a different time zone. You can be zipping between like three or four different time zones, doing your thing, getting all your stuff across to where you want to be without feeling interrupted or having that barrier between each thing. It would have been a real kicker for this game if you'd had to wait like a minute or 30 seconds between each thing. I just wouldn't have enjoyed that myself, it would have really destroyed the experience. Of course, if puzzlers aren't your 
bag, then yeah, you're going to not probably enjoy this game um, because it definitely will make you think and definitely some very challenging puzzles in this as well. Like I had some real moments of just like, what the hell do I need to do next? Thankfully, you have your little watch buddy you can click and he will help you out to a certain degree. He never gives you the straight answer, but he will give you some clues in order to get you to get the job done sort of thing. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're looking for a challenge, this game will definitely fulfill that. Um, and I just think this is one everyone should play. Now, at the moment in time, we all compare games to Half-Life Alex, and I genuinely think that we should be comparing them to not just Half-Life Alex anymore, they should be Half-Life Alex Wanderer. Those two things should be sat right up there in the top of everything. And then when you have multiplayer games, it should be after the fall. Because those three games to me are the most solid VR titles that we currently have to date in virtual reality. Now there are other games that are good, don't get me wrong, but those are the three that I feel like we should sit high on a pedestal, a pedestal on a pedestal, and really admire what those developers have achieved through their games. Now, once and for all, how I feel about this game, get it in your life absolutely pick this up and play it because it is a fantastic game um i'm gonna straight up give it like a nine out of ten on my of my opinion that's why i sit on it it's a nine out of ten man it's nearly a perfect game but of course nothing truly is so i can give it about the highest praise i possibly can which is a nine out of ten now of course with all positives do come some negatives now for me there's not a lot of negative to this game there are a few things that i can nitpick like i did feel like sometimes there just wasn't a place to put everything um, in like a tidy manner which really bothered me like you end up with a lot of artifacts that you can use to time travel to different periods I really kind of wish they'd built into it something that gave you a place that you could put those things or maybe built into your watch that you could store all of the different artifacts and just kind of see clearly all the ones that you own because there was a few times where I was like well, hang on what where am I supposed to go you know and you get a little bit lost in it and that sort of stuff for me really kind of um not breaks the immersion but kind of irritates me a little bit and when you start getting irritated that's not a good situation to be doing a puzzler in um so that would probably be my biggest pet peeve in the game past that i don't have a lot else to really slay on it because honestly there's not a lot of bad going in this game it's just good so yeah that's probably the biggest thing i could really pick on it for i do wish that there was a better organization system built into it and um, past just this, the few slots that you actually get on your wrist to carry things back and forward from places i would like something dedicated to the artifacts so that you didn't have to like wonder what the hell was going on when he's trying to find things stressful so past that guys i hope you've enjoyed this review again i've tried not to ruin anything so if you feel like i'm not saying certain things about the game it's because I don't want to and I kind of want you to explore it and, and enjoy it for yourselves. Uh, I've kind of given you some teasers and shown you some locations throughout the video but past that I want you to go and explore this and enjoy it for yourselves. If you have enjoyed this review please do smash like and subscribe for more things in the future. All things VR from gameplays, news and reviews. We do it all here baby and uh, you know it's your one stop shop for all things VR. Subscribe, like, all of that jazz, and I will catch you in the next video. Roll outro.